Hey everybody, this is Craig from Nine Bowl Games. Look at this. Look at this shirt. This is fantastic, right? I found it at the, uh, I don't remember. Anyways, <laughs> I gotta do this video here because I gotta talk about this. Now, I consider myself, oh, hi, yeah, I know, I've been gone for a long time. Whatever, 15 seconds in, it took me to address it, but... Quality should be better here. Eh? New camera? Okay, now... Uh, I'm actually gonna start doing videos again at a higher frequency because... My camera was my phone, and my phone was broken, so it's not easy to do videos. It didn't come out great quality, and blah, blah, blah. Well, now I've got some games backed up i got to do reviews for. Namely, I'm going to do an indie game called Poncho. It's on the Wii U. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, it's reminiscent of Fez, but it's a Fez that I like because it's, Phil Fish isn't attached, but whatever. Speaking of Nintendo Wii U, okay, so my wife bought uh, No Man's Sky, and she's been playing it. She enjoys it more thoroughly than I do and I can go into that in greater detail when the video I do for No Man's Sky comes out. I just got a bad roll of the dice. They said you're not going to have anybody around you for a long time but every galaxy around me has already been discovered. Whatever. So that's a little irritating. So my wife's been playing it and I've been playing my Wii U a lot and now my, my four-year-old son Noah um, He's actually starting to get interested in games and playing them and understanding and being able to play levels by himself. So we went and played um, new Super Mario Brothers on the Wii. And I tried to get him to go back and play the old Super Mario Brothers, and he won't do it because he knows that they're old games. So Nintendo started rolling around their Nintendo Selects, which I actually bought some of. That's how I got Tropical Freeze. Um, I went back and bought 3D World because I got rid of it at some point for some fucking reason. And I wanted to get new Super Mario Brothers Wii. I had already beaten it, but now I want that one with... Uh, Super Luigi, you know, because I didn't have that one, but that's not selects. They're really holding on, on that one, but they ended up putting this as selects, okay? And I consider myself a educated consumer when it comes to video games. I mean, I'm fucking, I mean, it's not, I'm not a huge person on YouTube, but I have a YouTube channel dedicated just for the last six years, so um, I think I'm pretty well versed in this, and I knew when this came out in 2010, I wasn't going to buy it because I've already owned all the other ones in the original versions. That's what you're seeing right here. Herein lies a complaint. My son won't go back and play the old games. Um, he just knows that they're old. He wants new stuff. So he wants stuff that he feels like I got for just him and I to play. So in order to get him to go back and do the new ones, they made this a Nintendo Select, which was a $20 game. So I said, nice, I'll get this from the video game store. He'll know that it's a new game, even though it's old games, and he'll go back and appreciate the old ones. Great, that worked fine. Problem is, he knows how the system of New Mario works. You go through and you fight all of Bowser's kids and then eventually fight Bowser because Bowser uses his own children as a human shield because he's a piece of shit. Whatever. Long story short, I bought this, not looking it up, because in 2010 I didn't care when it came out and no time between that I ever think I would even buy it. I mean, it's nothing more than just a placeholder on your Wii for something that you can get digitally and something that you can go back and get cheap. It doesn't have this. Now, I already have this. This and this are the fucking same. The quality is the exact same on my TV because I play this through a clone, clone console, uh, the FC Twin, on HD TV. And you've seen how some of my classic games come out on HD TVs. It comes out fucking beautiful. This hat and shadow is making me look like I have a unibrow right now, and I don't, but it's irritating. But my question is, now this is the exact same. This was a fucking cash grab. I'm so glad that I got this for $20 because for some reason I just assumed that it would have Super Mario World, that it would have Super Mario World right why why would you not think that in 2010 on the Wii with you know two three generation gaps between it they should have Super Mario World on it so I wanted my son to play Super Mario World he won't go back back and play one uh two is too difficult for him we tried that one um because you know the picking shit up and throwing it he's pretty much just run and jump and Super Mario Brothers 3 has it, and he's playing that one, but I really wanted him to play World. And I mean, it's simple. I'm showing it to you, so I have it. He can just play it here, but he doesn't like going back to playing the old game. So my confusion is, you sold this as like a full price game once upon a time. I do believe this was a $50 game at some point, and then it got rare, so it is more than $50. What the fuck, Nintendo? You didn't even make it so it would take up the entire screen. Like, that shit is irritating. It is literally just a copy of... This fucking Super Mario All-Stars on the Super Nintendo. Super Mario All-Stars, if you're going to bring it up to the Wii U, considering you actually put this shit separately available on the Nintendo, uh, the Wii shop, 
Why? Like, I'm pretty sure if on a good day with a sale in the Wii Shop, you can get all everything that's in there for under twenty dollars. So my point is, I know you can put Super Mario World for seven ninety nine up on a fucking the the eShop, and people are gonna buy it. Why didn't you put it in here? Why didn't you put it in here? And then I'm gonna go a step further and say, if it's Super Mario All Stars and you were bringing it up to another generation because you wanted the people, you know, of the newer generation to appreciate the classics. Why is Super Mario World not on there? You re-released Super Mario All-Stars to include Super Mario World on Super Nintendo. And instead of putting that version on the Wii, you put the original version on the Wii. You money fleece some motherfuckers. Shame on you. Now I gotta get that from the Wii shop. Thank you guys for watching. Tune in, by the way, because I think I'm gonna do a live stream of No Man's Sky on Friday. That's what I'm... Uh, um, amping up to do it'll be after nine o'clock eastern standard time i'm not sure i'm gonna stream it through here so just pop on hopefully you'll get me at the right time i think i have some other stuff behind me that needs reviewing too i don't even remember what i've been playing man no man's sky got such a bad role in that shit and it's awesome i wanted to do i wanted to do exploring and you can't do exploring in there when everything else is fucking explored around you whatever thank you guys for watching